Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Dunkin'. If your car's air conditioning isn't blowing too cold, you might need a new expansion valve. So today I'm going to show you how to replace an expansion valve on a Toyota Camry. The first thing you have to do is hook up your gauges and remove the refrigerant that's already in the system. Now unless the system is already empty, you need a recycling recovery machine to do this, so you might pay a mechanic to do that for you. Then once the refrigerant is out, you have to remove the two lines going into the dash. And they're hiding right down here in this Toyota. These two bolts have to be taken off. Just take a wrench on them and lose them off. Then you have to take the glove box out to access the evaporator core where the expansion valve is bolted in. Just remove the screws that hold the glove box in place on the top and on the bottom. And then the glove box just pops out. First the door part, then the inner liner comes out. Now there's the blower motor which you have to move out of the way to get to the evaporator. So find all the bolts that hold it in place and take them off. And then just grab it and pull it out of the way. There's the evaporator there. We have to slide it out to get to the expansion valve. Then when you slide the evaporator out of its case, here's the expansion valve right here. Then you get a five millimeter socket and put it on the expansion valve bolt and take it off. Then once you remove the two bolts, the expansion valve just comes right off. Now you'll notice that there's O-rings inside. Right in here there's O-rings. You need to put a little air conditioning oil on them so they seal good. So just get a little air conditioning pag oil and pour it in a little cap. And then drip some on each O-ring and spread it with your fingers. Then after lubricating the O-rings, Bolt the expansion valve back onto the evaporator. Then slide the evaporator back into its case. And then bolt the two hoses back on under the hood. Bolt the lines on nice and tight. Then start evacuating the AC system with vacuum pump. You want to run the vacuum pump for about an hour to get all the moisture up and that'll give you plenty of time to put the rest of the dash together. So while that pump is running, put the blower assembly back up and bolt it in. And bolt it back into place. And don't forget to put the glove box back in. Then once you put it all back together again, turn off the vacuum pump and fill it up with the correct amount of refrigerant. Ace the car even tells you how much refrigerant to put in. 0.9 kilograms. So I'll open the valves and fill it up. And now it's full. So if your car's air conditioning isn't blowing cold because the expansion valve is sticking, now you know how to replace it yourself. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from this ride.